What's up, everybody? I am BK, BKBangers.com. Welcome to another video. Today's video, I want to share with you guys how to use that the pattern mode in the new Studio One 4 platform, but I'm using it different than everyone else is using it because no one is using it with the MPC. Now, I didn't know that you could use it with other instruments outside of um, Impact because that's, that's all I've seen anybody using it with. But the pattern mode is capable of being used on any instrument. It could be a, a synth, bass, anything. But it's most fun with drum patterns from what I see so far. So I have a couple of patterns up right now. I'm going to just play for you what I got real quick and then I'll get into how to switch it up. We have the pattern here. Let me lock this in right quick. Go ahead and solo it. So this is the pattern mode. If you guys aren't familiar with what it is, it's basically like if you're coming from like Fruity Loops, or one of those kind of um, DAWs that have step sequencers, is basically a step sequencer. So if you're used to that kind of workflow, this is right up your alley. Now the MPC has a step sequencer in it. I may have used that thing like probably like once or twice. I'm not really a fan of the step sequencing, but I kind of like how this uh, step sequencer flow with um, inside of Studio One. So this, again, this is the pattern mode. Now in order for it to work with the MPC is somewhat like how I showed in previous videos when you have to, uh, you have to go to the mixer so you gotta go to the pad mixer if you're on if you if you're using drums you have to use the pad mixer if you're using like another VST inside of the NPC software then you go to the mixer and you route it but I only have the drums so <clears throat> you wanna go to the output and go to stereo out or mono out. Now, I'm not sure why inside of Studio One, when you go through the mono out, it uh, it sound, it's only on the left side or the right side, and it, it's it sounds dull. So I'm not using it for right now until I figure it out. But well, once you have that all routed, you're then able to come in here and, you know, make your adjustments. Now, I only have a couple of drums on it. The other thing that you want to make certain that you do is that you go to edit, go to program and note mapping. You want to make sure that you're actually on chromatic and not on the classic MPC because if you're on the classic MPC when you when you go to the mixer to bust it out it doesn't work that way 
All right, just a quick tip. So the pattern mode, you're able to do a couple of different variations, a couple of switch ups. Right now I have four different variations and you can set you can set it at every bar every two steps or um you can fill the entire lane now one depending on your tempo it goes by the bpm and the steps so you can have anywhere from four steps all the way to 64 steps the resolutions is the the actual notes that's hitting 16 notes eight note triplets all right and you can also adjust the swing now you could adjust it over here as well and it gives it a different variation so what you the, what i did was i i made copies and then i i switched them up in each copy so i'm gonna show you that real quick And right here, where it has this little hyphen, is where you select the variation. So this is the first pattern. To select individual uh, sections and go to and make repeats on it so like right now I'm on the kick drum so I, I'll make it two repeat repeat twice now I don't like how it works on on kick drums it sounds best on snares and hi-hats it sounds nasty on kicks. Like that just sounds disgusting. So I wouldn't suggest you guys use it on uh, kick drums. There's also the proper probability, and that changes the um, the variation as well. also adjust the velocity so there's, there's many you know things that you could do now once you have that the, the different variations set up you then go into the pattern mode here and real quick the way that you get it is that uh say for instance right here you would go to instrument parts and you would select insert, insert pattern and that creates the insert pattern now this is for um that's for that's on a vst so you can also make you know cool little variations of <laughs> melodies like you could probably make an arpeggio um kind of pattern with this right here but i'm not going to do that right now once you have the variations up see all of these that i have up here so far is in um pattern four and pattern three so i could switch this to pattern one Switch this to pattern two, 
and then as it go along it's something different right Once you have all of that set up, the next thing you want to do, you want to highlight all of these. We do it with even the muted ones. You right click, <clears throat> you go to instrument parts, and you want to select convert pattern to part. Right, so now what that did was it put it in this little cool little, you know, pattern wave editor kind of thing. And then you can make adjustments here, move them around, duplicate it. So once you do that, in order to um, make proper adjustments, you then go to where it say explode pitches to tracks. Now you have everything separated and you're able to come in here and make even more finer adjustments, right? The only thing with this is that you gotta rename it after See, I already set it up over here, but now I have to rename it again. So that's the that's the, the small stuff. But once you got that going, deselect everything and mute these. All right. and then bring it bring in everything and just play it and then you know you're able to organize it and put it into song structure real quick real simple you could come up with as many different variations as you want um i kept it really simple with this i was just testing it out to see how it actually works to see if it actually works with the mpc and now that i know that it works with the mpc i'm have a lot of fun with it um because some of those like you know hi-hat rolls i normally wouldn't probably even do do it the way that um the pattern mode does it with the rolls so that helps a lot the only thing with this is that once you commit and you um you explode pitches to tracks you can't actually uh go backwards so that's kind of corny <laughs> but you can always hit undo right so that's pretty much what i wanted to share with you it's hella late where i'm at right now kind of tired but you know the grind don't stop the hustle don't quit 
and keep it going, keep it moving, keep it pushing. So if there's any comments or concerns that you may have about how to set this up with the uh, the NPC, if you're an NPC user, hit me up in the comment section. And if I could give you any guidance, I will surely do so um, at my most earliest convenience though. I do remember that music is life. It is our DNA. Keep banging. Peace, love, light. Till next time. Peace.